Hey everyone, it's Roxanne and this is my boxing channel. Uh, today we are going to be doing the Lux Box. Now, just to let you know, this is a Canadian subscription. It is seasonal, so it comes out every three months, roughly. So this is the spring box. Uh, this is value, or this is $26. Uh, plus, I do have a $10 add-on, so there's always a chance this box could be good. Um, with that being said, you can use my link down below to sign up for this, the next box. Um, you won't be able to get this box. That might be good, that might be bad. Um, but you will be signed up sometimes for the edit uh, box. And the edit box is actually usually isn't too bad. With that being said, just depends on how good the spring box or the, you know, the box, pre-box was before it. Um, the add-ons, uh, they come randomly. Um, we didn't actually get it with the Top Box, and Top Box is their sister company. Usually when they send this out, they do usually have it for Top Box that month. But anyway, not there. It's a $10 mystery add-on. You don't know what you're getting. Uh, lately, it's been a lot of Sephora um, items, which is really awesome. So with that being said, I also have my pop-up order and the... Uh, gift I won from Sincerely LGS, so I'll go through that as well, but we're going to do this first. Just to let you know, I do pay for all my boxes, so if you do use my link to sign up for Luxbox or Topbox, I do get a $5 um, coupon code for their one of boxes. And actually, I do have one of their one of boxes that I wanted to show you, but I left it in the kitchen and I'm not going to start this over. So, with that being said... Let's get into this box. So, as you can tell, I'm apprehensive. I actually got the spoiler, so I do know what's in here, and I'm afraid to open it up to find out exactly what they said it was going to get. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to like it or not. Alright, let's rip the band-aid off. Just a lot of fluff in this. Maybe that's... What is this for? Okay, so... So I do see my $10 add-on. It is Glam Glow. It's actually hoping for the purple Glam Glow. I've seen the Glam Glow. So this is the Flash Mud Brightening and Brightening Treatment. Okay, so the Glam Glow is a really, um, I do like their face mask. So it does have a safety seal on it. So. Um, I'm not sure why they never come in their boxes, but I'm guessing, it, well, I shouldn't say that. I think it's because people try to return these. And these are valued, I think, at like $70. Let me just check here quickly. Um, got my phone right here. I'm going to look that up. Okay. So let's try Glam Glow. There we go. Okay, so um, let's see. So it says between I think thirty three and seventy seven dollars. So is this one point seven ounces? Yes. So this is valued at seventy seven dollars. So that's actually a really great steal. Okay. So that just makes up for the whole box. So if I paid thirty seven dollars, then or thirty six dollars, I'm about half price. All right. So the first item I see, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Um, can't say that I'm not like disappointed in it I'm so it's the NYX shine killer um, I'm not sure if this is full size so I will give this a try okay so it says eliminates the look of excess oil and shine leaving skin looking matte and fresh all day it can be worn over under or without makeup okay that's actually great for me so um, I would Definitely be giving that a try. Well, this is kind of a disappointment. So this is Generation Clay. This is ultraviolet purple, brightening purple clay mask. So like I got two brightening things. Are you trying to tell me something, Lexbox? I actually have this in full size, so maybe I'll pop this in one of my giveaways. Um, I'm actually not disappointed with this per se. I do like this uh, company. This is actually black mask. I didn't know that. That's kind of neat. Um, I have used the purple mask before and I do do 
do like it. So the next item I see here is Belief Youth Corrector reduces the appearance of enlarged pores. So I would probably give this a try. Um, I don't tend to like Belief because it's for really dry skin and I do not have dry skin. Okay, so the next item I see is, of course, La Ritzy. Um, I actually have been wearing the uh, mascara I got. I don't know, in Top Box. So I believe I actually have this color. It's called Creed, so I'm not going to open it up. Not sure what I'll do with it. Like I said, pop it in a giveaway. Not sure. So this is full size, which is nice. Um, oh, look at. Oh, okay. So I'll open up this one actually. It's been one of those days. I was really hoping not to work on Saturday, but now I have to. So, Ooh, actually, this is kind of pretty. This is Pretty Woman Nail Polish. I believe this is something called, yeah, Berry Wild. Oh, that is very, very, very pretty. So we've gotten a lot of their nail polish, so I'm going to have the whole collection soon. All right, so... Why they do that to me, I don't know. All right, so I'm going to go with a little item because <laughs> I just threw this out. I actually dropped it and smashed it. I had it in a giveaway. So this is step three of Mana Kadar Beauty. Step three, perfect. I do not, oh, I do have step one. I think that's the glow. I do not have step two. Okay, so this is called Posh's three-in-one contour shadow blush. So it's for M Mana Kadar Beauty in Irvine, California, but not made there. Okay, so <sighs> last summer they came out with um, Huda Beauty palette, like the, an $86 palette, and that wasn't even a $10 add-on. And then this. <sighs> I'm not happy with that. I get that in my top box. I don't need that in my Luxe box. So the next item I see is something I won't keep and I won't ship because it is uh, not shippable. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna smell it. I'm not gonna try it because I'm not a big perfume. It's Juliet has a gun, and it is. Vanilla Vibes. So I'm going to look this up quickly and see how much it is. I know I've seen it on Sephora. All right. Let's see this. Juliet. Here we go. Okay, so this didn't... It's, okay, Vanilla Vibes. So I see that it has this one for $35. Okay, so let's see if it has, I don't think, I don't think New York is on here. No. Okay, so let's go to the, <laughs> so I mean the two items that's over $100. So that's definitely four times my, um, what I paid for, sorry, and my, X primer. Let's see here. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. And I got a box. Okay, so let's see here. Now this was called Shine. Shine. Okay, so that's not on the first page. Come on, search. What is this called? Shine Killer. I want to see if this is full size or not. And 
It's at 67. <laughs> well, it's on sale. Okay, so. Okay, so it's a, a regularly $16. And this looks like it is actually full size. Okay, so that's okay. So it was $16. I'm not going to say it's a discounted price. Just because it's on sale doesn't mean, like, doesn't really mean that it's a bad item. So those three items, they're not, that's what? 16 plus 35 is 51. So 77 is 1. I'm going to check. Oh, you know what? I got an email. What am I doing? Let's look up the email and see. Okay. Oh. Okay, so this is the full size for the liquid lips. It is $20. But with that being said, I'm not exactly sure if anyone has gone out to buy this. It is from Montreal, Quebec. That's kind of neat. It's designed in Montreal. Okay, so, and the pretty is uh, $9, so that's, I don't know how much that is. And then the per, full size for the um, clay is $29.99. Okay, so, okay, so I definitely got my money's worth now. Did I get my value out of it? Probably not. Um, I mean, I may or may not keep this. Um, I will definitely be using this. This is about the only thing I will, I, oh, these two items, sorry, these two items I will definitely use. After that, it's, uh, so, oh, I'm going to show you what I decided to purchase from the pop-up. So, I purchased these masks, the Star Eyes mask. Um, I know I said I was going to do a review on them, and I can't remember if I did or not. And I want to just say that I like these so much that I purchased them. And for some stunned reason, I bought one. Thinking, sorry, I bought one package of two, right? And then, because I, I have to pay shipping, right? Why I didn't fill up a whole box with for these. They were $3, but the thing is... It, it's BoxyCharm decided that they were only going to ship one. So I purchased a second order and grabbed another one set. So they refunded me $150 and then they refunded me $150. So these cost me about $2 Canadian. Um, and I'm not going to lie, I really, really like them. I have to see if I can find them, like have them shipped to Canada. They are really, really amazing. I like them when I go to bed. Um, I get massive migraines I having issues right now with my eyes with headaches with stress and other items so these are really really nice so um, at the pop-up store or the add-on store right now I did purchase two two um, eye masks and they kind of go on like uh, what do you call them like Cape Crusader they kind of stick on, and the ones for the morning, ones for the night. So I can't wait to see those. But I will say that I am absolutely in love with these. So if you do see these somewhere and you want to ship them to me, just let me know. I'll give you my address, and I will, uh, you know, work over some money. All right. So the next items I got because I am getting low on my mass are the Master Lab Intensive Nutrition and Intensive Moisturizers. Um, I've been doing a lot of working and I sweat a lot, so I need to put some moisture back into my face. So I thought I'd get those. Um, I got R and Co Gemstone Color, Con or sorry, I got R and Co Television Ready Shampoo and Conditioner. Now I've had to have the conditioner because my daughter's been using it because it works so well. I absolutely love it. My hair feels so soft and so smooth for like three days. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. So it's like $30 or something outrageous for um, each one. So I purchased these ones, the gemstone color and um, conditioner. Uh, so I'm going to give these a, a try um, and see if they will help uh, keep my hair color in. I'm trying to go back to like a dark brown instead of the black with colors on it, but it, it's taken a while. So 
one of the items I got actually is kind of funny is the glam glow this was $12 American so it's about $15 this is like 60 $65 Canadian so I have this one I just got this one and I'm not sure I have tried the purple or the blue or the green before I'm not I don't think I've tried I might have tried the white so yeah so I thought I'd give this a try. I thought, because I do really like the brand Glam Glow. So I'm happy with that. Um, it was a really good price. I couldn't pass it up. And then, because you know. Oh gosh. Put that down for a second. All right. I'm so tired. Oh. Okay. Well, they made sure they bubbled this up really, really well. <laughs> oh, that's kind of neat. So it comes with a little sticker from Carity Professionals. Okay, let's see. So as far as I know, the pop the pop up sale worked for everybody, and the only real finasal. I am apparently good at making up words today. Um, the only big failure on their part was those pop-up masks, from what I understand. So I got the Unicorn Dreams. Um, I mean, how can you not have a palette? You know, it's got unicorns all over it. Okay, let's see what this looks like. I'm not going to swatch this one quite yet, because I still have a couple other um, palettes that I need to, to get using. And... Uh, so there it is there. Um, it's really super pretty colors. I'm not exactly sure if I'll actually keep this one myself because I have like gone on palette overload or if I will like maybe put this in a, a contest or something. But um, I really, really like the colors of it. I love this purple. I love the mystic. Um, I have been drawn to greens lately and with spring coming, it's an absolute great color to have. So I may give that a try out and I will uh, let you guys know how that goes. Um, so the last thing is, sorry. Come back. Um, I won a <laughs> $25 gift card from Sephora from Sincerely LGS. Like, seriously, what is going on? I keep getting, like, gunk or something in my eye here. So I asked her just to, to purchase this for me with the $25 gift card. And then she shipped it to me. And it is called... Violet Boss Sweet Violet. Um, oh, these colors are so, so, so pretty. I'm going to give them a try out probably for the next video. I'm going to probably skip the tart one and just do this one. Because this one's so pretty. Okay, with that being said, she also sent me the Brigio Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Perfect and Heat Protection Cream. I do blow my hair, uh, blow dry my hair every once in a while. And then it goes up in a ponytail because work. Being an adult sex some days. Okay, I think that's everything I wanted to show you today, except for the um, top box box I bought, which I will probably try to aim to show you what I got in my top box <laughs> reveal whenever it gets here. And it's not here yet. Okay, so just a, just just to recap, um, Lux Box again is twenty six dollars. It is a seasonal subscription. It is a Canadian subscription. So with that being said, this box was just a slight on the disappointment side. Um, the value is there, but I find with them it's like a roller coaster. Same as Top Box itself. I keep my Top Box because I find that you um, that my viewers really really like that. So um, it's one of my higher viewed videos. So I will keep that just. Just so you guys don't have the fear, uh, you know, the FOMO, the fear of missing out. And I will just go ahead and I will take the pledge for you. Uh, with the Lex, Bo Lex Box, I'm going to wait and see what the spring and the summer brings before I cut ties or decide whether or not to cut ties. For the, Like I said, the value's there. A lot of the stuff I can just kind of pop on my local buy and sell and it sells pretty quickly, especially perfume. But um, the... The add-on, I will definitely try the smaller version and see if I like it before trying the bigger version. Um, so, like, it's it's just, 
depending on what you like for me this box was just a tiny bit disappointing i know everyone compares it to another beauty box and what we have to remember is that this is a canadian version of those and they're doing and i know they're doing the best they can to get us these exciting brands and to kind of put a you know like a pop in the box and they're not always able to pull it off um they don't really have any customization they don't really have you know like do you want this do you want this i believe i said no to perfume which is the weird part they had um an urban decay setting spray i was really hoping to get because why i don't even use setting spray i actually use the becca the becca setting spray so don't ask me why i wanted that but i did i wanted to try it i'm not gonna lie um and then there was um the huda banana Bread, I, um, I think it's setting powder. Actually, that's probably what I would have absolutely loved. But anyway, with that being said, I'm going to take this as, I'm going to take it as, as a, like an even. Like, I'm going to say it was like a meh. Um, only because the value was there. I'm not going to lie about the value. But for me, the items weren't exactly, you know, ah, I had to have this box. So you cannot get this box. So if you do sign up, you'll be signing up for either the editor's box or the summer box. Um, I also wanted to tell you guys, I did try the boxy Hello Charmer. I don't know if you can see it. I'll get up really close to the camera. I use the blue and the green because, you know, I'm into those co colors. I don't know. Can you see? And of course, I use the e.l.f. lipstick with the Oh, there it is. The Fenty. I really like this. Um, I also tried the Becca highlighter. I don't know if you can give that a glow. I really, 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 really like that. That was really nice. Um, as well as the Becca foundation from the pop-up. So Becca is becoming a real... Like right here. Look. Becca. Becca. And then the other one's in there. I'm not going to reach it. Um, I will say this, though. I purchased this, and I wasn't like, mm, I wasn't like, I gotta have this, I gotta have this. But I have to admit, this is one of my favorite primers. Um, I just got it. I actually, and my priming brush is a $5 buy. It was like a clear up from Quo. And now that I use that to apply my um, primer, and away I go. I find that the... Um, this eyeshadow sticks for the most part. I haven't really tried it on all day because when I come home, I do my makeup and then, you know, I'm washing it off about three hours later. So I don't always get that full day, which kind of sucks, but it's it's what I have right now. So anyway, um, I forgot my last video to tell you to go watch my giveaways. I've got two giveaways. Some of these items might end up in there. Maybe I'll put the glam glow in one of my giveaways. I, don't quote me on that though. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it at this moment. Um, as well as if you guys could like, share, comment uh, on the video. Tell me what do you think of Luxbox? Is it worth the $26? Um, rather than putting out all this hate and the stress of having the box, let's let's try to promote some positivity. Um, what I like to see in the comments is um, what would bring you back or want you make you want... Um, this Lux box in the summer. What would you be looking for? Like an eye palette? Um, uh, not not necessarily foundation. So foundations really can get really hard to do. Um, but you know, foot masks, hand masks. Like, what would you like to see in there? Um, try not to go too wild because I know I'd like to see a Dyson hair wrap in one of these boxes. But you all well, know that's probably never going to happen. So. Um, for me, I'd like to see more Canadian oriented, um, items. I would love to see like the higher end shampoos and conditioners, you know, like the stuff that you get at salons even, like I would really love to try some of those. Um, uh, another thing that would be really interesting to, to have in these boxes is like tools, um, maybe like. How do I want to say this? Like we all we're getting ready for summer, so our toenails are going to be done up. So you know, like those little, like a toenail nail polish kit or something. You know, that would be really nice. A higher end one. I'm not just talking like something you get at the drugstore. Um, I don't even know what else. I'm. 
you know, just, just things like that. What would you like to see? I do have a lot of makeup, so I'm not necessarily always looking for makeup, but even like, you know, let's say Lion Combs throws something in there because I love that brand, you know, like a good, um, the comfort toner, like even I like a deluxe size of that stuff. Oof. I would love that. Um, you know, like even their jelly shakers, those are, those are always fun. But, you know, just things like that. I know that I knew, do know that Lancome isn't Canadian. I do know that. Um, even, you know, it would be really nice to see from from them is even if Masquerade did like a whole set of masks, like, you know, your 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 face mask, your hair mask, your hand mask, a foot mask, you know, just stuff like that. That would be really nice, um, you know. Anyway, this video is long enough. <laughs> Again, thank you guys enough for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Have a good night.